And then he, what he'll do, he'll pull on the attack. Right hand lead by Chavez. Taylor flurries in return. There he goes to the side of Chavez's body. They trade a right and a left, and Taylor. You see the right hand of Taylor. He's dropping it. Yep, and Chavez is throwing, beginning to land with more consistency. Right hand leads, doing the damage for Chavez now. A solid left inside. Taylor lands a vicious right hand combination he did what you were talking about before he threw three or four punches and then he got out of there but they didn't linger that's true Larry. that's what this is another very good round from Eldrick Taylor they're fighting in the zone in the middle of the ring Chavez lands a solid right hand but you see the frustration Chavez still boring in coming straight forward against Taylor's flurries a solid right hand the first three rounds according to punch that computation Taylor Good right hand lead by Taylor. Still trading four blows to one for Chavez. Chavez tries the left inside. Taylor comes right back. He won this fight with fine fashion. Now get out. Solid left hand. And to clarify what I said, Roger Mayweather and Sammy Fuentes ended their bouts on the stools in their corners, not flat on their backs on the canvas. Chavez simply wore them down. Would you say a near-perfect performance so far from Meldrick Taylor? It's a very good performance by Meldrick Taylor. He's been doing what he needs, needs to do. Boxing. Just boxing. <laughs> 30 seconds. Chavez has landed three solid left hooks inside. Taylor comes back with a bristling uppercut. And another flurry for Meldrick Taylor. Taylor is still exchanging to the body effectively. They trade punches inside, and Meldrick seemed to wobble for just a second. Right hand lead. This is a masterful fight. Solid left hand. And the legs of Meldrick Taylor. Still a lot of bounce. And that gets back to the fact Chavez has not done damage to the body like he used He hurt Chavez just then. Chavez buckled. Just to clarify, the rest of my prediction was that Chavez would turn it around in the second half of the fight. Punching it out. By Taylor. Chavez continues to try to come back with the left of the body. But he is not hurting Taylor. Chavez landed a left. Taylor flurries furiously in return. Taylor has driven him off. That he doesn't want to pay the price. A right and a left by Chavez, and more blood comes out of Taylor's mouth. Taylor begins to flurry. Crowd chanting Mexico, Mexico, trying to lift Chavez up. They know how desperate the situation is. Taylor lands a right hand lead to start the round off. Taylor went straight for Chavez. An unnecessary chance to get back into this. Look at the speed of Meldrick Taylor's flurry. If you've just joined us, you're in the middle of the ninth round of a classic performance by a young fighter on the threshold of greatness. I've seen more by shots thrown by Taylor than I have by Chavez. And the left hook to the body is supposed Triple to be Chavez's hook. great. Savage left hook to the body by Taylor. And another. And what you see. He's carried out George Benton's game plan to perfection. Whoa, beautiful Trading punches inside. Brilliant stuff from Meldrick Taylor. Chavez on the verge of going down. And Chavez, the great body puncher, is reduced to headhunting. Taylor has to watch out. I'm seeing him being hit by these left hooks. He needs to watch out for those shots. Taylor beginning to look more the worse for wear than the action of the bout would have led you to believe, though. Blood again from the mouth and the nostrils. Both the eyes beginning to close. Chavez finally seizing the initiative. We see two real champions here tonight. The combination about both men. It's impossible to conceive that Chavez is in any way disillusioned about the necessity of a knockout. 
He's got to knock Taylor out. Like left hooks at a time. is in serious jeopardy. As round 11 comes toward a close, Julio Cesar Chavez must begin to contemplate in which to produce an unlikely knockout, or he will see his streak end before thousands of his countrymen. Well, the first thing, he's still saying combinations thrown by Belgian Taylor. Here in the 11th round, incredible. Two hard punches at the bell. a tired Meldrick Taylor slipping to the canvas. Another solid left hook from Meldrick Taylor. Chavez, this, this desperation punch, if you will, because throughout the whole fight, no Taylor Fort an impressive fight. The left hook set, up, set him up for the right hand. And Meldrick trying to hold himself up, get hit by a solid right hand, and goes through the canvas. Now, here's where Steele makes a critical decision. Eight, nine. nine. Now he looks at him. Are you okay? And, and she, stops the fight. You notice Melzer's looking at his corner for instructions. He couldn't answer Steele. The winner and now holder of both the WBC and IBF 140-pound championships from Culiacan, Mexico, Julio Cesar Chavez.